Welcome to the Simplify Your Life podcast. It's Coach Simona and I'm glad you decided to tune in. Hey everyone, in today's podcast episode we're going to talk about how to find your core values and I'm going to share with you the easiest core values exercise you'll ever try. I'm also going to give you a free cheat sheet so that you can follow along and find your core values in under two minutes. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Simona, certified life coach and author of the book 111 Ways to Simplify Your Life. I make weekly podcast episodes on personal development, so if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Now, before we get into the core values exercise, I want to talk about the importance of finding your core values and why we may be sabotaging ourselves instead of living in alignment with our truth. First, let's start off with a brief description of what core values actually mean. Your core values are a set of principles that guide you through life. They actually help you navigate through difficult situations and make better life choices that lead to favorable outcomes. But why is it so important to know your core values and what happens when you don't? Finding your core values helps you understand yourself better, know what you want out of life, make better decisions when you're under pressure, and create a life that aligns with what's truly important to you. Here is an example of living life according to your core values and how that influences your life. Let's say one of your top core values is freedom. How that affects your life is that you start your own business because you want to decide when and how much you want to work. You want to have financial freedom and location freedom so that you can travel all over the world with just your laptop. Another example but this time living life without taking one of your top core values into account. Let's say it's really important for you to have a family. You crave spending more time with your spouse and children, yet you have a demanding job working late hours and having to travel for work all the time. What happens is you feel unsatisfied with your job, not because you don't like it, but because it's in conflict with one of your core values, which is spending time with your family. A job like that would be perfect for someone who values adventure, novelty, career growth, and socialization as some of their core values. Now, let's move on to the actual core values exercise. The first step is to download your list of core values so that you can follow along as I share the exercise with you. Just click the first link in the description box below or visit bit.ly slash 98 values. Okay, now that you've downloaded the list, I want you to take a look at it. It's pretty long, so it may take you 30 seconds or so to go through it all. So make sure to pause this episode if you need more time to think. Now, here's how the core values exercise works. Take a look at all of these values and think of the top 10 that resonate with you. If you haven't downloaded the cheat sheet, here are some examples of core values to get started. Abundance. Balance. Communication. Contribution. Family. Friendships. Freedom. Health. Honesty, independence, love, loyalty, personal development, recognition, security, success, wealth, and wisdom. Now, after you've chosen 10 of them, I want you to go back to the three non-negotiables. I know it may seem pretty hard at first, so I've prepared a few questions that will help you decide which three are the most important core values for you. Ask yourself the following questions. 1. What are the three most important things for me? 2. If I had to tell someone what makes me who I am, what would I tell them? 3. What makes me light up from the inside? 4. Which core values relate to this statement? If I had these three things, it will be enough for me to be happy and fulfilled in life. Now, after you've selected your top three core values, I want to share with you how finding your core values and sticking to them has a direct link to the way your subconscious and conscious mind communicate with each other. When we don't live in alignment with our core values, that means that we are denying our needs and you may be even sabotaging yourself because you don't live in accordance with the things that are important to you. Your subconscious mind takes about 95% of your brain power and it's responsible for all the processes in your body, your unintentional habitual thoughts, behaviors and actions. Now, what does this mean in terms of core values? If you're not consciously aware of what's important to you, you will make conscious decisions that may not be in alignment with your subconscious programming. Meaning, your subconscious mind is all about survival and it will prioritize meeting your needs over anything else. 
This may translate in your life with sabotaging things that seemingly are important to you, because you've chosen them based on your rational conscious mind, but your subconscious will be pulling you in the opposite direction. Here's a quick example to illustrate this point. Let's say you're spending a lot of time with your family and friends, constantly giving them advice, listening to them, taking care of their needs, and not really taking time for yourself. If one of your core values is personal development, and you really like watching videos about this topic or listening to podcasts like this one, but you have no time for yourself, at some point you're gonna sabotage yourself. For example, you may pick fights with your spouse because you need some alone time, but you don't really realize that or know how to communicate it. Or you may get cranky at your friend's baby shower because you've been catering to her needs for the past eight months and never really set healthy boundaries. Actually, if saying no is something that doesn't come easily to you, make sure to watch my video on how to say no to people without feeling guilty. Just visit youtube.com slash Corsimona. Now, here is the truth. Your subconscious mind will always win over your conscious mind. So the only thing you can do is become more self-aware and work on reprogramming the parts of it that no longer serve you. I'll make a separate episode on reprogramming the subconscious mind soon, so stay tuned for that. But the first step you can take in that direction is to find your core values and start living in alignment with them. So if you haven't already, make sure to download your core values exercise cheat sheet at bit.ly slash 98 values. Thank you so much for listening. If you found this episode helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on my weekly podcast episodes. I'm sending you all my love and I'll talk to you in the next one.